In this video, we're going to look how to simplify algebraic fractions. When we are simplifying algebraic fractions, we are looking for common factor between the top and the bottom of the fraction. So to do that, first we need to factorize them. Okay, now let's have a look at the first uh, um, example. We need a um, uh, look uh, the numerator. You can see that this expression has x in common. So if I take the x out of the bracket, we will have x plus x plus two left behind. Okay. Now let's uh, factorize the denominator. We can see the common factor here is three. We take the three out of the bracket, and we will have x plus two left behind. Now you can see the, the top and the bottom has x plus 2 in common. So it is a common factor. So if we divide uh, both top and the bottom by x plus 2, we will have these brackets cancel out. And the final answer will be x over 3. Now let's have a look at the next question. So let's start first factorize the numerator. We can see the common factor here is 2. Uh, we take the 2 out of bracket and then we will have x minus 4 left behind. And now let's uh, factorize the denominator. You can see here that we are dealing with quadratics. So when you factorize in the quadratics, we should have the double brackets. So here we're looking for factors of 4. So we're looking for the two numbers. When we multiply, it should give us 4. But at the same time, if we add these numbers, we should get negative 5. And you can see that these numbers can be negative 1 and negative 4. Because the minus 1 times minus 4 gives us positive 4. And if we add minus 1 and minus 4, it will give us minus 5. So here... We will have x minus 1 and x minus 4. Here we can see the common factor between top and the bottom of the fraction is x minus 4. These brackets will cancel out and final answer will be 2 over x minus 1. You can put the x minus 1 in a bracket or leave it without the brackets. In both cases, answer is correct. Um, now, let's have a look at the next question. So, here, um, numerator and denominator both are, both are quadratic. So, let's start factorizing numerator. So, we're looking for the factors of 12. So, we're looking at the two numbers. When we multiply, we should have positive 12. But at the same time, if we add the same numbers, we should get negative 7 and these two numbers are minus 3 and minus 4 so we know that when we factorize quadratics we have double bracket so answer is going to be x minus 3 and x minus 4 and now factorize the um, denominator so we're looking at the factors of negative 8 and when we add these numbers we should have negative 2 you should remember that when you're looking for the factors of a negative number, uh, one factor should be positive and then another should be negative. Um, now, here, um, these two numbers, it could be either 4 and 2, but one of them, we need to make it negative. Now, we're looking at here, um, the coefficient in front of the x. So, because... Uh, here we have negative 2, we're making the 4, our large number, negative. Because if we add minus 4 and then 2, that gives us negative 2. So we're going to have x minus 4 and x plus 2. We can see that x minus 4 is a common factor. These brackets will cancel out. And final our answer will be x minus 3 over x plus 2. Okay, now next question, let's start factorizing numerator. We can see that this expression has x in common. So we take x out of bracket and we will have x plus 4 left behind. And here 
we are factorizing quadratics. So we're looking for factors of 12. So when we multiply, it should give us 12. But at the same time, if we add these numbers, it should give us positive 7. So these two numbers are positive 4 and positive 3. Okay. Here we can see the common factor is x plus 4, so brackets will cancel out. And final answer will be x over x plus 3. So now let's have a look at the final question. So this is a little bit more challenging because uh, you can see the uh, uh, as a numerator we have quadratic that has a um, coefficient in front of the x square. So when we factorize in that, we're looking for um, the two numbers that when we multiply, it should give us negative 90. So when, where negative 90 comes from? This is 2 times negative 45. But at the same time, if I add these two numbers, it should give me positive 1. So these two numbers could be... Mm, negative 9 and positive 10. Okay, now to factorize fully these quadratics, the first I'm going to write up double bracket, but because we have the 2x square, first I'm going to include the 2x uh, inside both of uh, the brackets. So I'm going to have 2x mm, plus 10 and then 2x minus 9. But at the same time, I'm going to divide uh, the coefficient in front of the x square. So when you look at the numerator here in this uh, uh, fraction, you can see that, uh, one of the brackets, which is 2x plus 10, we can factorize for them. So if we take the 2 out of brackets, we will have 2x plus 5. And then we copy the second bracket because the uh, it cannot be factorized further and over 2 and these 2 cancel out and final answer of this uh, factorization is x plus 5 and 2x minus 9. So I'm going to copy this one here. So this is x plus 5 and 2x minus 9. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to factorize the denominator. And then you can see it, this is the differences of two squares. So that gives me 2x minus 9 and 2x plus 9. Here, th these two brackets cancel each other out. And then final answer should be x plus 5 over 2x plus 9.